you welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new today i'm doing this starry look with the new glaminatrix cosmetics pretty and pastels palette so if you'd like to see how i got this look then just keep on watching I am so excited so excited I'm gonna do a fun star look with the new Glaminatrix Cosmetics Pretty and Pastels palette and when I tell you that this palette just screams spring but I wanted to kind of do like a spring star look look at how pretty so I'm gonna jump right on into it I've seriously lost my motivation throughout doing this so please bear with me I'm going to take the Makeup Shack T14 brush and the shade Tranquil, which is the dark purple from the palette. It's absolutely beautiful. My lid is primed with the Drawer Cosmetics Clean Canvas in Fair. And I have on a Definition Beauty star stencil here. And then stickers from Michael's Craft Store. The star one right there. The birds are loud today. <laughs> so I'm going to take Tranquil and start to pop that onto the outer V. And just blend it to that stencil and keep it kind of low. I'm really, really, really excited to have this palette. When it launched, I showed my husband and he was like, oh, okay, get it, I'll get it for you. I was like, oh, really? Like so excited, I was like, but there's a blush too. He's like, pick a blush. Okay, and the blushes, I, I just got one. It is this one, what did I, oh, I moved it over here. I have it in rotation because I'm gonna be using it a lot. It's called Petal. It's such a beautiful shade. This can be used on your lips or your cheeks. Uh, I I like to just pretty much use blush on my cheeks, but I am gonna give it a try on the lips sometime soon. I'm not gonna take this halfway. I'm just gonna take it about a third of the way into the crease and then just really focus on like patting it on top of the stencil. That way, We'll have a nice star mark. And I'm going to take the shade Peaceful with the same brush. I'm just cleaning it off right now. It's a really gorgeous, like, dark blue. But when I tell you these pastels really, really, really make these deeper tones pop. Oh, my goodness. So, I'm going to take this about a third of the way. My allergies are so getting on my nerves. I'm really excited for spring, but I'm not excited for the allergies. So back and forth. Work that into the crease. Get it blended with that purple. Get a little bit more and just pop that right up into the crease. I'm just going to stamp it. And now I'm going to take the shade Restful, which is a gorgeous green shade. So what I'm going to do with it I start to work that down towards the bridge of my nose, the inner corner of my eye area. And just tap it on the edge of the star. Blend it over to the blue. Just kind of pat it down. And when I get to the stencils or the stickers, I'm going to be very gentle. And mainly focus on patting, but to kind of blend. I'm using the lightest amount of pressure. I don't want to move that star around. Okay, so now I'm going to take the Makeup Shack T63 brush and I'm going to go into Fancyful, which is a pastel purple, and it's so pretty. It goes so perfectly with this deep purple. I'm going to take this and just kind of round out this blend. Very gently start to soften it up. And I'm really going to focus this onto the star to get that shape. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I guess I haven't talked very much today because I just started noticing my voice kind of being weird. Talk to Artie. <laughs> He's napping in his window with him's basket watching the birds. So precious. To blend out the blue, I'm going to take Infatuation. And just gently go back and forth with it. These two together are freaking gorgeous. So pretty. 
Okay, I'm gonna clean that brush off again and I'm gonna take Labyrinth from this palette. It's such a gorgeous, like minty pastel green. I love it. I'm just gonna start to diffuse and rest for real quick. Blend, blend, blend. And I'm gonna go back to the Makeup Shack T14 brush and Restful, bring it back. Touch it up. And I'm gonna take a little bit more Peaceful to bring it back. This is a beautiful, beautiful blue. So this is my second Glaminatrix palette, and I'm really impressed. I like the Into the Knot palette. I really think I wanna pair it with this. I think they would pair beautifully. Then I'm gonna take a little bit more of Tranquil and bring it back. Pat, 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 pat. Okay, so now I'm going to take that same fluffy brush, the T63 from the Makeup Shack, and I'm going to take the shade Mystify. It's a gorgeous baby pink, and I'm just going to start to soften this blend up. Look how pretty. It's so pretty. This all just blends out so nicely. And now I'm going to take Devon to blend out the blue. And then I'm gonna take Entrance to blend out the green. It's like a, kind of like a yellow green. It's really, really cute and it's a nice soft shade. I'm gonna take a little bit more lap, Labyrinth. A little bit more Breastful. And a little bit more of Fanciful. Oh, that is so, so pretty. I'm gonna take a little bit more Tranquil real quick. Oh my gosh, this blend is so satisfying. I cannot, it's so cute. Okay, so I'm gonna take some muscular water on a Q-tip to clean my lid and my crease and then carve it out with the Drawer Cosmetics Clean Canvas and Fair. And then I'm gonna use the pastels to do a halo eye and then do sparkles over top and doodle. I'm gonna put this in voiceover mode right now because my throat is starting to hurt and hopefully by the time I get to editing it, editing this, it'll be better. <laughs> So here I'm going to add Tranquil to the outer corner of my eye just to pat it along the base and make sure everything is nice and evenly blended. And I'm going to take some of Mystify to start the pastel rainbow blend with the Makeup Shack T66 brush. And with the shade Imaginary, I'm just going to pat it along the edge of that light shade. And this is such a gorgeous pastel orange. I love it. It's so pretty. I'm not really one to use orange eyeshadows a lot, but I really, really like this one. And I'm taking a little bit of Visionary to blend out on the side of the orange. This is going to be more of the center shade. And get ready to add the cute pastel green. But... This pastel yellow is really, really dreamy. I love it.
And here I'm going to take Devon and Labyrinth and just make sure everything is nice and blended. Take in Devon and blend in it over with the yellow. It's such a cute, cute baby blue. And then I'm taking Labyrinth to blend it over with the green side. Make sure everything is nice and evenly blended. No harshness and just it's so cute. Blending is repetitive, but it's worth it. I'm just going in and touching everything up, making sure that I got all the shades brought back that I may have lost in the blending. I make sure to go back into every shade and blend them and touch them up to bring them back if I lost any of the of the pigment while I was blending because with blending you can tend to lose some of the shades so just go back in and grab some and blend everything together and over here I took a little bit more of that purple on the outer corner and blended it with that pastel shade just to make sure everything was nice and even. Now I'm taking Surreal which is the pretty pink shimmer with the Cleona DF04 brush and I'm just going to pop that over on the lighter shade that the more pinkish purple shade and then I'm going to take the orange sparkle to pop over. I'm just going to use all the colors that of the shimmers and just pop them over to kind of you know make a sparkly halo eye. Idealist the orange shimmer is so gorgeous. I loved how beautifully it paired next to the pink. I felt like these two together would make a stunning sparkly look for whatever look you wanted to do. And now for Magical which is the gorgeous sparkly yellow shade. I, I just I had no words. These three together were iconic and I'm really excited to play around with this palette more but look how beautifully they look paired together. Here I'm using Ethereal, which is probably one of my favorite shimmers in the palette. It's such a gorgeous light sparkly blue. It's just magical. And now I'm taking Soulful, which is the light sparkly green. It is so cute, and I felt like it just blended perfectly with the green mattes. Just so cute. Oh, bless you. Already sneezed. <laughs> Now I'm taking the Suva Beauty UV Taffies palette and I'm going to start to trace out the star because I want it to be more defined. I'm really, really, really sad to hear about Suva closing their doors. I'm going to miss them so much. Their eyeliners are so good and yeah, I wish them the best and whatever they do, I hope everything works out and that they have an amazing experience and, and whatever that they go to do in life that they, they were really one of my favorite brands for eyeliners but i'm just starting to trace out the star with the yellow in that palette and i'm trying to keep it not messy but i was struggling i had been sitting there doodling on the other eye and was so ready to give up but i kept with it because i wanted to do some fun stars because i love to do little stars but this i felt like was a lot of fun i just wanted to outline the star and then doodle some like a star in the center did i do that on this one i think i did but right here i'm just trying to get everything to be nice and crispy and precise and lined up as precisely as possible i did the same thing on this star but my camera cut off so i was a little agitated about that when i realized what happened <laughs> Now, I am doodling the star inside of the star because I thought that'd be cool. I, I thought that I did, but I told myself maybe not because I finished editing this earlier and then went to do other things and then came back to do the voiceover bit. So, I'm just doodling a star in this star. I'm going to do one in the other star and then it's just going to be a bunch of stars and dots. It, 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 <laughs> I don't know. My brain was just like, all the stars please something extra and then when I got to like the under bit of my eye when I was doodling the stars I don't know why but they felt like they took me five years to do <laughs> but I love doing star looks they're so much fun speaking of star looks if you want a fun creative star look keep your eyes open next Sunday because I did a look and I really just did it to keep my mind busy because I Lately, my mental health has not been the greatest, and yeah, so I did a star look. <laughs> um, so, just a, 
add as many stars as you want. I kind of try to start at a foot, bring it up like I'm making like an A, and then I'll try to give it little arms and then form the star that way. Sometimes that's just easier. Uh, sometimes I'll do them kind of like when I start the gleams, and then I'll just like bring from one of the legs of the star up and then form the arm and then like fill that in a little bit and then go from the other leg like on the opposite side and it's the same thing just bring it up and extend the arms out and then extend the top point to make it pointier this is a nail tool that i got off of amazon and it works awesome for doodling little dots so i just felt like adding the dots would be really cool my friend amber does dot looks a lot and i think that they always look amazing so it's like you know what i feel like the dots would go awesome so this is the manic gems Angel Baby Gym Pack and my camera cut off. So yeah, I just added these. Okay, sorry, my camera cut off, but I just added a few gems and I think for right now, this is what I got. And I'm gonna go do the rest of my face and I'll be right back. look what do you think i'm so excited actually i'm a little flustered because these stars underneath took me forever i started filming this at like one o'clock in the afternoon and it is currently 7 10 and the only break that i took really was to go heat up some food and that literally took me like at the most five minutes so i was really kind of just like trying so hard to be precise with these stars underneath and it ended up taking me what felt like years so I got flustered, but I feel like it was worth it. It's like so cool looking in my opinion. I feel like it looks really cool. I just got these star hair clips from Cider and I was like, yes, I finally have an excuse to wear my new hair clips. And then these earrings I made a while back, I was like, these match so cute. And then I had this nose ring and I was like, it's a star. It's a little dangly. Like I have to just like match everything at this point. <laughs> have you picked this palette up or are you gonna pick this palette up i'm so excited that i got it i love it and right now i'm wearing the petal blush yes petal blush so cute i put that on and then i use a little bit of the blend bunny cosmetics bare cheek uh, bare cheeks palette over top and then for my highlighter i used the low light highlighter from unearthly cosmetics inspector which is one of my absolute favorite i've hit pan on it like I'm already like, okay, I have things from Unearthly that I'm going to order soon because I love their Immortal Eyeliners and their Low Light Highlighters. And did I just say highlighter twice? I don't even know. At this point, my brain is mush and I have so much stuff to do and it's like almost bedtime. So anyway, yeah, I'm really excited. I feel like this is, I, I was going for more of like a spring kind of look. I guess this spring is in like the halo eye bit, but I don't know. I could not resist trying to use as many shades from the palette as possible because every time I do a tutorial with a new palette, I like to try to hit as many of the as many shades in the palette as possible. I feel like that is just like something that I've done for a while, like a few years, and I feel like that gives me a good idea of how the palette will perform, what the formula is like, what the shades are like. And I did a look when this came in. I want to say it was Tuesday. And I used like kind of the same shades, but I feel like I used way more today. That'll be up by now. It should be up because I should have posted it Tuesday because this is going to go up Sunday. So, oh, no, no, no. I'm going to post this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because my Dragon Ball Z look should be before this. So that should be after the Dragon Ball Z look. Should be my first look that I did with this palette. And then this look for like there, there should. I don't know what I'm putting up on Friday at this point, but... You know, I, I, I kind of have a little planning going on. <laughs> okay, I'm rambling. But what do you think of this look? Should I do more star looks? Should I do more floral looks? Or what do y'all want to see? I haven't been able to check my phone as much since I've uploaded the full face creative look tutorial. But some of the comments that I've seen, thank you so much. Like if you want to see more long chit chat uh, creative looks or just more like me doing like a full face and then 
a whole eye look, full face, all that. If you want longer form videos, please let me know. Because, like, whatever y'all want to do, I'm down to do. Uh, and right now, I'm kind of just, like, cutting it close, though. Because that Dragon Ball Z look that I said was going to be up. I haven't even started editing it editing it yet and it goes up in a day and a half so i have to put my editing cap on for real tonight and tomorrow <laughs> please do let me know what you'd like to see next out in the comments below if you'd like to keep up my awkward face and shenanigans while i'm not here on youtube then i'll have all my social medias linked in the description box down below and if you'd like to keep up with me while i am here on youtube then please hit that subscribe button it means so much to me and i can't thank you enough and if you like this video could you please give it a thumbs up i've heard that it helps to get my video pushed out of the algorithm so if you give it a thumbs up then thank you so much I want to thank you so much for watching, and I hope that I'll see you in the next one. Bye!